Hi everyone, today let's learn how to make a barometer. What is a barometer and its use? A barometer is a scientific instrument used to measure atmospheric pressure, also called barometric pressure. The atmosphere is the layers of air trapped around the, uh, wrapped around the earth. The air has a weight and, process, and presses against everything it touches as gravity pulls it towards the earth. Barometer uses this pressure. Here you can see a picture of it. There are actually many types of barometers and this is one of the types that you can see in the picture. So the materials are balloons, uh, a jar, uh, one straw, you know, some tape and scissors and also, uh, yeah, balloon I told you. So let's start by making it. Oh yeah, and also you will need a cover of book, like you can remove uh, some rough book you have, you can remove the pages from it. So then you will need the cover. So let's start by making. Start by, uh, take your jar. Take uh, start by taking your jar and uh, leave it aside. So take your balloon. The balloon right over here. You need to take your balloon and uh, cut it. So like this one. And then I think I'm gonna make it straight. I'm gonna make it straight. Uh, kind of like. Um, I'm gonna make it tray. Done. So you have to cut the balloon. I already cut it. Okay, so now you have your jar. Set the balloon. And uh, put it on your jar this way. Careful. I've added the balloon and you can see how it looks. Okay, so now, uh, take your uh, jar and uh, fold the tape in this way. Wait, let me show you. This way. And uh, take a straw. Take a straw. And the scissors. Okay, so let me remove this. Cut from the top part like this. Cut it and uh, cut it like that vertically. So, kind of like and cut it more. Okay, so you can see, amazing. Now, use your tape bundle that you made and stick it right under your straw. The not at the no part, you're gonna stick it at the other part, you know, and stick it on your balloon. Wait a minute, just make sure which side can be sticked on your balloon. Okay, good and nice. You can see, after that, leave it aside. Like you have this, and leave it aside for a while. Take your notebook, as I told you, the method, remove uh, the pages. So, let me show you how you need to actually remove the pages. So, let me show you. Okay, so this is actually my rough notebook. And, remove the pages. Remove it from the middle. And you can see, I have... So this is my whole thingy. And, uh, okay, now in the middle line you see in the center um, that you need to cut. Take okay. your scissors now and cut it from the middle. Okay. And take one of the sides, take one of them. And a half away like this no don't do it like that the white side should be out so more than a half way well more like a quarter way you need to do like more than a half way you know more than a half way 
and then this part you fold it a little bit over and leave a little bit of space. <laughs> and uh, push it this way, you know. This way, and uh, you can make whatever shape you want. So it's ready. I made a uh, rectangle, square, whatever. You can make it of your choice, like a pyramid or whatever you need to make by folding it. So I hope whatever you want, it's up to you how you like. It's more creative. So yeah. So now let's we are gonna make some scale and a drawing on it. So cover it. Ready, set, boom. Okay, you can see that. Um, we have to draw a sun and a cloud and these meter uh, uh, I draw the cold one or the rainy one with the green color and uh, the hot one with the right color and uh, this is the middle like it's normal so and I draw some uh, you know shapes to make it organized to make it seen and um, recognizable so you can make what uh, however you like and it's really amazing so how shapes you want it's your own creativity you can make your by it's your own creativity okay finally the final and the last step is that keep this thing the meter and uh, the barrel meter, the barrel and uh, keep it this way and it really works so right now here in charge you know it's kind of like a lot funny so then it's pointing towards it you can see it really works and uh, trust me, it really works. And you can try this at your home and you can record your every day, you know, every day. Um, every day, you know, every day you uh, do, you can record it in a paper of your week, like how much hot it was and how much cold it was. But it's not kind of like cold, not really cold. So it really works, you can check out. It's really hot right over here. I'm sweating. And the fan is also not on. Uh, so I'm sweating. Let's see, I sweat. Anyways, I sweat. Let's see, I sweat. And I think you won't be able to see it. Anyways, so this was the last step of making a barrel meter. So we're done with it. Cool and amazing. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And share this to others so that other people can uh, make this bearing meter and record their atmosphere, atmospheres and their temperatures. So until next time, see ya. Bye.